Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, like the title said, pros and cons of the solar fountain. Uh, totally groundbreaking. No one's ever done this before. Okay, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Everyone buys these because number one, they are inexpensive. Uh, you get a decent pump. They come in a bunch of different sizes, different kind of panels, and you get a bunch of um, little fountain attachments with them. Just like most stuff like this, you're gonna get what you pay for. One of these came in broken. I'm not really upset about it. They're not super solid, but it is what it is. They are solar powered, which is a good enough reason in itself and saving electricity is awesome. So it's kind of a no brainer. The only problem is that they don't have a backup battery, which means they'll only run in direct sunlight. So you'll get sporadic flow during shady times, kind of like this and nothing at all at night, which isn't the greatest for warmer climates. It has a pretty decent flow rate for its size and the price. It's really meant to be a nice little fountain for a shallow water feature, so it's good at what it's meant to do, but not really. The fountain attachments are meant to sit just above the water line, otherwise they won't work right. But if you do that, it ends up spraying water so high that it just sprays everywhere, including out of your pond, which obviously will lead to disaster, especially if a breeze blows it over. Now. A lot of people probably wouldn't be on board with modifying this to make it work the way they want, but I chose to because that's just the way I am. I used an irrigation flow valve to alter the flow so I could get the spray right. While it does work, it's still kind of a pain for a few reasons I'll get to later. Okay, I know it doesn't make sense for me to say that it's easy to use after I literally just said it was a pain, but let me put it to you this way. It's easy to use if you're using it the correct way. For instance, for a bird bath or something like that. It's pretty basic, you just stick it on, plug it into the panel, and voila, they found it. But even though it's easy to use, in my opinion, it's not the greatest for a container pond. Those little suction cups are kind of cheap, they don't stick the best, even though it's workable as long as you have a flat non-porous surface, and you'd probably think that that was super easy because the container is basically one big surface, right? But the way the pump is designed, you can only attach it to the bottom unless you get extra fittings so you can attach it to the side. I don't recommend attaching it directly to the bottom because if somehow your fountain sprays out of the pond, that pump will suck all the water out and your fish will be left with no water. I was really lucky to save mine from less than an inch of water when this happened to me. Putting the pump on some sort of thick shelf in the middle of the water or a few inches from the top would make sure the pump runs out of water before your fish do. Also, this is just a pump. It doesn't have a filter on it. It's gonna get gunked up real fast. So however you choose to attach it, I'd suggest making it easy to remove for easy cleaning. There's a few different designs, but most of these come with an extension cord. This is really great if you want to use solar and keep your pond out of direct sunlight. It's long enough to place the panel so it gets sunlight and stays out of the way. Now some of these come with mounting hardware and some don't. I would definitely recommend getting the one that does. It's much more attractive than say, gluing the panel to a piece of wood and stapling it to the side of the roof with some airline tubing. All right, that's a wrap, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all on the flip side.